I am Mike. Hi, Mike. I don't know if you can tell from my pants, but I'm a dad. <laughs> I have a beautiful four-year-old son, lovely wife. They surprised me the other day. They told me they want to get a cat, which would be great, except I had to remind them daddy is allergic to cats. So we had to talk about it. We had to compromise. We got a cat. <laughs> If you're thinking about being a dad, I can't sum it up better than that. <laughs> Is that going to make you guys happy and be miserable? Well, let's do that. <laughs> Why wouldn't we do that? My health? That's not a reason. <laughs> we have a cat. We have a cat because I would rather be sick every day for the rest of my life than date again. <laughs> that's it. I'm 40 and I'm not doing it again. I've seen it. I had a buddy who's 40, he just got divorced, he's dating a 20-year-old. It's so creepy. Oh my god, he brags about it, which is silly, she's 20. You're bragging about inexperience. You wouldn't do that with anyone else in your life. You'd never get the guys around and be like, guys, 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 I just got a new mechanic. I don't think he's ever even touched a car. <laughs> it's so hot. I swear to God, I had to lift up the hood, show him where everything was. <laughs> I went to put something in the trunk. He freaked out. It was adorable. <laughs> you wouldn't do that, nor should you do that. <laughs> no, I'm 40. You know what I find hot? Clear directions. <laughs> Like my 40-year-old wife, yeah. She'll grab me by the back of the head, says, do everything I tell you to do, you're gonna be asleep in 20 minutes. Hot. Hot, my God. It's great. There's no wasted energy with a 40-year-old woman, because 40-year-old women have shit to do tomorrow. You know what I mean? A 20-year-old woman, you gotta talk about where you're gonna get brunch. We haven't had brunch in 10 years. The closest I came was one time I forgot to give my son breakfast. <laughs> when that brunch, buddy, what's that? It's a secret meal we never tell mommy about. <laughs> I'll tell you what, young guys, you think you want a 20-year-old woman, give a 40-year-old woman a try. <laughs> You're gonna learn something? You can get some rest? <laughs> and guys, it's still hot. Like, sure, rip the buttons off your shirt, but tomorrow morning, clear some back on. <laughs> Right Hell yes. It's annoying to be a guy dating, but it's just scary to be a woman dating. Oh my god. Women can't even take a drink from a guy anymore. Slip be a roofie, it's terrible. I would never use roofies. Except on my wife, of course. <laughs> but not for sex. Because, you know, ten years in, you start to realize there's more important things than sex. Like, I would use roofies, so once in a while we could see a movie I want to see. <laughs> Married roofie usage, sir, yeah. What do you want to see tonight, honey? La La Land is supposed to be amazing. Don't fight, just be like, yeah, sounds great, let's get a drink first. Boom. <laughs> Work like a charm, you gotta be careful what you see instead though. Like we woke up two hours later in Star Wars. <laughs> what is this? It's La La Land. <laughs> Honey, Ryan Gosling's in the Darth Vader mask. <laughs> He's about to sing. I'm gonna go get you a drink. <laughs> we are an interracial family. Uh, uh, clearly my wife is the interesting half. <laughs> My wife is Chinese-American, uh, our son is biracial, and I am careful. <laughs> when you're the only white person in the family, there's some landmines you weren't expecting. <laughs> like, uh, so I have a biracial son, I was so excited to show him some of the stuff I loved growing up. And <laughs> now I know that a lot of the stuff I loved growing up was way more racist than I ever knew. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! That was an eye-opener. And he asked me what I used to watch when I was a kid, and I showed him a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Which is pretty much enough to get him taken away from me. <laughs> Have you seen a Tom and Jerry cartoon in the last 20 years? 
like it was drawn by a southern governor. Oh my god. Like I'm watching it. And there's one part, Jerry the Mouse hits Tomcat on the head with a brick. I can't even worry about the violence, because it turns Tom Chinese. Like, I, right? Like, I don't want him to think that's how it happened. That's on me right now. That's me like, is that where mommy came from? Yeah, yeah, a construction site, buddy. Brick hit mommy on the head. Yep, there you go. And it just raised you. Like, oh my god, that's... Those are our roots. And I showed that to my wife later on. I was like, look at this, honey. Remember when this was okay? And I'll never forget, she said, uh, no. Oh. Well, that's how that election happened. All right, now I get it, yeah. I know, weird time in the country. Weird time. I saw a newspaper article that actually said uh, it's weird for comedy. It's like doing comedy after 9-11. <laughs> they said that after the election. It's like doing comedy after 9-11. I was doing comedy after 9-11. This is very different. <laughs> Here's a big difference. Half of us weren't rooting for 9-11. <laughs> That's a pretty big difference. <laughs> I never did an anti-9-11 joke where someone in the crowd was going to go, Suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> well, now you know how we felt when the towers were going up. <laughs> Pretty big difference, guys.